back to finish out the pesky old wiring. We got a few packages in the mail from uh, ox beams. The uh, ox beam power control modified dedicated controller. Six gang switch controller that also has fuse block and all the relays included in it. So this is pretty kick ass. And all you gotta do is ground off each of your lights and throw a positive in and you're good to go. Saves us a bunch of money on rocker switches, stuff like that. So yeah, shout out to Oxbeam for sending it. We appreciate it. Now, they actually offered up uh, another set of lights, which seven inch high intensity off-road bug lights. So uh, yeah, 16,666 lumens. That's a lot of sixes, boys. We'll give them a shot. I was just putting them on there to check them out because they don't really have anything else to put them on. We can't put them on the RAM. Um, and uh, I kind of thought they were too big for the buggy, but I figured we'd try them out anyways. They sent them to us, so why the hell wouldn't we, right? And now that I'm looking at them, she kind of got that dune buggy vibe to me, so I don't know. I might leave them. We might just rock those boys. I don't know how long they'll survive, but I mean, why not, right? See up right there, at the very least. Found my location, or chosen my location, rather. And we're going to mount the box right here up into the battery panel. Seems about the cleanest spot where it's not going to be intrusive to everything else. Just like that, you should keep it nice and clear, and then you can just flop the seat up. You have access, can easily open it and get to your fuses and such so i like that i think it looks clean and it'll look stock so right there now i gotta figure out what hardware they want me to use we blasted in two holes here and here up through so that's perfect that'll sit back just enough bring my positives around here and we should be good so yeah i'm digging this this will be my positive to the power post here so We'll take that and we'll leave it right off the post and we'll wrap it up out of the way. So conveniently located, everything should look fairly stock. I'll be able to get in there and uh, tighten that off from the back side. And we just drop her in like that, screw our post back down. And solid, solid. Okay, I'm just hooking up the old positive here. And uh, we'll give this thing a try. Let's fire up the unit. Let's give her some power and see what happens. Okay, so now we should have no lights, right? Okay, right on, nothing's going on. No rock lights, no halos, no nada. All right, our switch is getting power. We actually swapped the positive here to the accessory port, right? One positive to the battery, one to the accessory port. So this only lights up and comes on, obviously when the, uh, when the key is on, right? we have rock lights we do okay do we have the halos we do yeah there we go right on nice and so that's all you got there right your gang switch back to your uh your fuse and relay box then it's just positives in and gr run your ground and then you just have your ground down here for the block itself right straight the battery and then the power to power everything to the accessory easy peasy really cleans up things as far as having a ton of switches to, to wire all over the cab and stuff. So yeah, so that's, that's a good buy, man. I like it right on. I don't know. I wasn't too sure about where I wanted to put it. So I thought about up here and then I thought about over here, but kind of too much in your face. So we're going down here in a bit more of a discreet location and kind of makes it nice and easy for wiring and hiding all that stuff too. And once you set in place, it is going to look like that. I'm kind of thinking that's perfect. Pretty mint. Everything's buttoned up. 
we basically just go check her out now, right? I wasn't so sure about the ampage, whether or not it mattered with the relay or not, but that being said, let's see here. <laughs> the round lights in the front there were running off of a 40 ampage. So I just left them separate for now and uh, I'll throw them on their own separate toggle just in case. I don't know that there would be an issue, but uh, oh wow. Yeah, that's definitely gonna. Oh yeah, that increases our lighting big time. Rock lights here, rock them. We got our halos and webs. We'll leave the halos off. Ah, we throw the halos on. There's your halos. Actually, I like that placement. It's nice and incognito. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. That's the master off. Master on. Oh, I like that. And that's the high beams with Can Am. That's the low beams. drive well I'm gonna be pretty susceptible to being everywhere yeah and it's just so much more ease of mind to just throttle out now when you when you get in trouble you can throttle out yeah and straighten out right yeah. it's a big difference man <laughs>